White House to host bipartisan meeting on the Russian probe. White House to host two meetings on activities of potential FBI informant during 2016 campaign. Chief White House correspondent John Roberts reports. The president raising the stakes ahead of those meetings with a tweet this morning that his critics will say overstates the case and actually misquotes what the former director of national intelligence, James Clapper, actually said. The president tweeting this morning, Clapper has now admitted there was spying in my campaign. Large dollars were paid to the spy, far beyond normal, starting to look like one of the biggest political scandals in U.S. history. Spygate, a terrible thing. Let's run through the players again of uh, who's going to be at those meetings. The first meeting, which is expected to take place about noon at the Department of Justice, Devin Nunes and Trey Gowdy, the chairman of the Intelligence and the Government Oversight Committee, Chris Ray, the FBI director, Dan Quotes, the director of national intelligence, Ed O'Kelly. Callahan, who is Rod Rosenstein's deputy at the DOJ, and the chief of staff, John Kelly. That's a new ad. He was not originally planning to attend this meeting. That will give Nunes and Gowdy some comfort that they may indeed get what they're looking for. The second meeting will be with the gang of eight. However, we understand that Trey Gowdy will replace Paul Ryan, who doesn't want to go, Nancy Pelosi, Mitch McConnell, Chuck Schumer, Nunes uh, Schiff, who's the ranking on the House, uh, uh, Senators Burr and Warner as well. Nunes and Gowdy want to see the intelligence that led to the FISA request to surveil Carter Page. They also want to see intelligence related to the FBI confidential informant who met with three Trump campaign officials. That's the one the president was referring to in his tweet. Though Nunes insists he is not interested in knowing the informant's name. Critics have claimed that that's what he's looking for. He says he's not looking for the name, just the information. Uh, Senator Chuck Schumer, in her statement this morning, was critical of the fact that there was a separate meeting with Nunes and Gowdy, saying, quote, while it's a good thing that the Gang of Eight will be briefed, the separate meeting with a known partisan whose only intent is to undermine the Mueller investigation makes no sense and should be called off. What is the point of the separate briefing if not to cause partisan trouble? Yesterday, James Comey, the former FBI director, criticized the president for saying that the campaign may have been spied on, but he did not deny that a confidential informant had meetings and other contact with Trump campaign officials. In an interview with Brian Kilmeade that aired just a short time ago on Fox and Friends, the president fired back at Comey. Listen here. A thing that I've done for the country, the firing of James Comey, is going to go down as a very good thing. FBI is great. I know so many people in the FBI. The FBI is a fantastic institution, but some of the people at the top were rotten apples. James Comey was one of them. I've done a great service for this country by getting rid of him, by firing him. The passions are clearly running high in advance of this meeting. The chairman, Devin Nunes and Trey Gowdy, are playing down expectations, but sources say they do have a reasonable expectation, particularly since Chief of Staff John Kelly will be at that meeting, that they will get to see at least some of the documents that they are looking for. All right, so be sure to share, like, subscribe, and comment down below and tell me how you feel about this report. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. Let's make America great again. Peace.